We are a telehealth provider, the leading telehealth provider, clinically proven to reverse metabolic disease, and we're working with patients across the spectrum of metabolic health. Welcome to Startup Health TV, where we celebrate the entrepreneurs and the innovators who are transforming health. I'm Logan Plaster. We're on the floor of the American Diabetes Association annual scientific sessions. My guest right now is Brittany Volk, the uh, Director of Medical Affairs at Verda. Brittany, great to see you. Hey, thanks for having me. Great to be here. So, uh, Verda, we just did a masterclass with Sami, the founder, uh, the CEO and co-founder, and uh, learned a lot about what they're doing. But sort of give us a little flyover of what Verda's doing. They've been very successful in fundraising, you know, revenue numbers, so it's kind of a lot of exciting headlines. But what's at the core of Verda's mission? Yeah, at the core of our mission is reversing metabolic disease. Um, we are a telehealth provider, the leading telehealth provider, clinically proven to reverse metabolic disease. And we're working with patients across the spectrum of metabolic health and really caring for them through nutrition that's based in science, largely in carbohydrate restriction. And then how we deliver that care is really novel through continuous remote care, where every patient gets a medical provider and a health coach for that one-on-one -on -one personalized care. Um, in some ways, what you're doing sounds elegantly simple. You're like better nutrition, one-on-one -on -one care, almost old school. So what's the secret sauce here? Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it sounds simple, right? Uh, we've been at this for a decade now, and I think what's really magical about it is it's founded in science. So our science goes back decades. Um, our two scientific co-founders, Dr. Jeff Volick and Dr. Stephen Finney, really had all that science laid out, and many others, right? Um, but putting it all together in a way that we deliver it virtually so we can care for patients nationwide, we provide all the support in-app, so through our digital tools, they get education, they get health coaching, where they can get you know one-on-one -on -one support talking to someone, actually a human. I think in a world where technology is so pervasive, and it's wonderful because it does help us address this growing epidemic of diabetes, obesity. Um, it's wonderful to have technology, but people want to interact with people. And so we do that. We basically put a health coach, a provider, tools, resources, support, peer-to-peer -peer support in every patient's pocket. Yeah. Pocket, yeah. excuse me. When I talked to Sami, uh, CEO, a couple of weeks ago, he made a pretty bold statement. He said, Ozempic-like results without the side effects, without the, uh, the negatives uh, of, of a drug. So talk me through that kind of statement. We're getting such amazing results. And we, we stand behind our results. So we've always been evidence-based. We started out as a clinical trial before ever entering into the commercial space. So we wanted to demonstrate that we could safely and effectively deliver reversal and prevention of these chronic diseases um, virtually. And you know, at a year, our patients with type 2 diabetes get on average 30 pounds of weight loss, 12%, right? 60% um, of patients cared for a year uh, achieve diabetes reversal. And what we mean by that is getting off all their diabetes medications and get their blood sugar below 6.5, that A1C threshold, which is diagnostic of diabetes. For our pre-diabetes population, which we've also been caring for since the very start of Verda, so it's focused on diabetes prevention, we are able to achieve at two years, 97% do not progress to type two diabetes. And that is unheard of because the typical progression is you're diagnosed with prediabetes and at some point thereafter, there's that type two diagnosis. So yeah. Now, now I know you've done uh, deep work, a PhD in, in diet nutrition. And so um, talk to me about the actual backbone diet that's baked into Verda and what makes it special. Yeah, this is where I could probably talk all day. I said the word diet, it's really a nutritional okay, plan. So I'll correct that here okay. in a moment because, so I was working in a lab since the early 2000s with Dr. Jeff Volick, who is literally a legend in the low carbohydrate nutrition space. Um, and I was seeing firsthand the results that you'd get in the lab. I was a dietitian and a research scientist implementing um, these protocols over you know, a few months, over a year. I did a feeding study and we will not get into that. But I saw those firsthand effects. And it's so powerful when you're implementing something and then you see the data come back to you. You see triglycerides get better, so their lipid improvements, cholesterol improves. You see their cardiovascular disease risk factors, all of these different risk factors go down. Um, beyond numbers, you see the quality of life get better. And the nutrition in order to do that, so the foundation of our approach is carbohydrate restriction to some degree. There is such a need for personalization in 
a person's nutrition in their lifestyle, right? You think of every person even just here at this conference, they have different schedules. They're from all over the world, right? They have different cultures and dietary preferences and you name it, that list goes on. So we have some standard guidance that we will give to our members that will help them achieve what's called nutritional ketosis. And it has profound benefits on their overall health, not just on their blood sugar for diabetes, but inflammation, blood pressure. I mean, the list goes on and on. How do you get people to actually adhere to a nutrition plan? Yeah. First of all, you educate them. Education is so powerful to help people understand how foods affect their body, right? Nobody, oftentimes, People don't have enough time with their healthcare provider or their dietitian, and as a dietitian, I can say that because I experienced that firsthand. And I think it's really important when you have 15, if you have 15 or 20 minutes to try to ingest all this information, you're going over your health, you're trying to understand what you're gonna eat. People are confused when they come out of the doctor's office, wait, carbohydrates, wait, triglycerides, they don't even know the difference. So for us, we educate them for them to take control of their health. We share the science what to expect when they implement these changes. So it's not just about the what and how, but it's about the why and what to expect. But then you also get the coaching. You have someone that you can reach out to seven days a week and you're gonna get an answer. Is it a chatbot? How high touch are we talking? <laughs> of course we have some automated components to our approach. There is a person on the other end. And we've gotten so smart over time with our technology and learning from our patients that come through our virtual doors what their needs are. And we can actually anticipate a lot of what they're going to be needing, at least from a biomarker perspective. So we're tracking things like blood sugar, blood ketones, through a simple test, a finger stick test, um, their body weight, subjective measures like their mood, how are they feeling? Because it isn't just about the numbers, it's about how someone is feeling overall and how empowered they feel or confident to take control of their health. So it is absolutely high touch. We are talking to our members every single day. I was a health coach at one point in the very, very beginning. Right? With Verda. With Verda, I was the health coach when it was just a few of us um, at Verda. And so that really helped me understand what people need, how to help build out the product features to take that in-person experience into a digital world. So the touch points are frequent, especially kind of addressing the needs that people have throughout the course of their experience. You know, there's people that are gonna struggle at times and that's okay, it's a lifestyle change. So we're there to help them and building that rapport with the coach early on becomes a really important piece for when that person is struggling, they can say, hey, Logan, like I'm really struggling and I need some support. I'm always fascinated by health tech technologies that turn out to be sort of a Trojan horse once, once you build the relationship yeah. and you're there. Well, hey, I've got a whole world, a whole life of issues that I'd like to talk to my health coach about. Is it hard to stay focused, you know, you've got a few areas that, that you're focusing on when you see this person and they may have mental health challenges, they may have family challenges that are all playing together, or do you just try to address as much as you can? You cannot say we are only going to talk about the foods you're eating. There's a reason, there are many reasons, why people will turn to food. Some people, it is simply an educational piece, and you tell them, hey, did you know how much that bread impacts your, impacts your blood sugar and maybe has contributed to your diagnosis over time? Education, great, you tell them, you help them, awesome. I'd say that's the minority. For most people, there are so many other factors, outside stressors, they're the caregiver for their parents or their children. They um, you know, learned at a young age, the clean plate club, where you had to finish your food and it just gets ingrained. Um, we're learning more and more the connection between metabolic and mental health. So um, we don't just talk about food. Health coaches and our providers become so much more. Now we also know our lane and when we need to refer out to another provider, right? Um, but it is absolutely a comprehensive approach where we're talking about sleep, we're talking about stress, we're talking about what might lead them to um, eat more at night. Is it loneliness? Is it, I mean, the list goes on and on. What's next for Verda? Can you give us a sneak peek of anything you're excited about? Okay, so I'm <laughs> very enthusiastic about a lot of things at Verda right now. Um, I get this question a lot of what's next, and I think one thing I would stress is what will always be next is remaining laser focused on the patient experience. And that means continuing to create a more engaging uh, experience from the digital app to the one-on-one -on -one coaching. 
super laser focused. As someone on the research team, I do focus a lot on, hey, here are our outcomes. We've published them. They're peer reviewed. It's a rigorous process. That's awesome on a global scale, but it always comes back to the N of one patient. And so for me, I'm really excited about that continued personalization that we're creating through our product investments. And then there is another component that we actually recently launched, a new product line, um, that actually came as a result of our customers coming to us saying, hey, I don't know if you've heard of the GLP-1 thing going on, right? So we've all heard of it. I don't think I've had a single conversation that hasn't involved GLP-1s at some, some level. And so our customers came to us and said, hey, you know, can you help us address this GLP-1 crisis that we're dealing with right now? They are a super powerful class of medications and I'm grateful for them, personally grateful for them. I think we all at Verda are like, great. It offers patients, you know, really great results. However, they are not for everyone. And there are a number of issues with GLP-1s, whether it be cost, access, tolerability and safety for the individual patient. So there are people that will be on a GLP-1, it's effective, it's great, it's safe, and they have no problems. But the majority of people a year after being prescribed a GLP-1 will not be taking it anymore for one of those reasons or multiple. So people want an alternative or an off-ramp where, hey, they'll be on GLP-1s for a little bit, but we have an option for them to lose weight, to improve their blood sugar that involves less medication. Um, and we have... People aren't excited about a lifelong medication. Some people might be, <laughs> but I think a lot of people that come to us um, want, especially once they learn about this option, want to get off those meds. People think that their disease is chronic and progressive because it's what they've been told and what they've experienced. When you start to educate them, when you provide the support, the medical guidance and oversight and all the tools, it's amazing what happens and there's this positive feedback loop. So it's pretty, pretty great. Awesome. Britt, thank you for taking the time with me. It's been really awesome to see Verda grow to the, to the scale it's at, the impact that it's at, and your focus on the clinical research and connecting with the physicians. I know you have nine or so posters and presentations you're doing here. Um, that focus is clear and so keep up the great work. Thanks.